All right, yeah, yeah, what up everybody, your boy BQ in the place to be. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded any content to the channel. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit more when I do my No Surrender review, which I know is uh, is behind the times here, but uh, I will get that out along with some other content. Uh, we'll be recording on my cell phone going forward, unfortunately, I'm going to be uh, updating the RAM in my computer. Uh, even though I've been using StreamYard forever, I'm just having these issues currently, and I know for a fact it's not my internet because it's it's the best possible speed, so it's got to be the RAM, right? So I don't know, I'm just um, updating it, trying to get it uh, going so we can get back to recording on there like we always do. So let's talk Hammerstone here. He was the uh, recent and latest signing for TNA. This was a signing everyone was has been calling for for a while now. Ever since he was just um, voicing displeasure with MLW and wanting wanting out of there, you know, a lot of Impact fans were stepping forward and saying, "Hey, this is a great fit. This is a great place to be." And he also he obviously had the outstanding showing at Hard to Kill versus Josh Alexander, leading a lot of people to believe that this very well could be his home. Now, more than likely, he was waiting things out to see if one of the bigger companies had something for him and doesn't appear to be the case. And who knows, if MJF was not injured and he was healthy, uh, maybe there's a spot there for him uh, because he does need some help. But, you know, he, here he is. And it, it's a it's a big-time signing for them. And, um, you know, my MLW knowledge is not fantastic. I've watched a couple of the pay-per-views. Watch some shows here or there, but I, I, I've seen enough to know what this guy can do. And he showed us what he could do versus Josh Alexander. is really one of the best matches on the card. And, you know, face it, him in WWE, NXT, AEW, it's, you know, as impressive this is, as this dude is, I just don't think he fits what they're doing. I think he's someone that thrives from being a big fish in a small pond. And, you know, everyone, uh, you know, every wrestler gets in the business to wrestle for the WWE. And I'm sure he was someone similar. But it did not appear to be in the cards. And I just think this is a great place where he can be at the top. Because you put him in one of these other companies, he's not wrestling on the top of the card. He's not wrestling for the title. You know, he'll, this guy will have a world title shot by Bound for Glory. Might even be the champion by, by Bound for Glory. But it gives a credible challenger to Moose, along with Josh Alexander, obviously, Nick Nemeth. And it actually gives us the healthiest main event roster, or main event, um, you know, group of main eventers in quite some time. In, in several, several years. So... I think this is a, a good thing. It's great to see Anthem uh, make the move. Hopefully they're paying him accordingly. And uh, this isn't just some, you know, he's paying, they're paying him per appearance or something. Hopefully he's, he's got a real deal that um, he can feel valued in. And we'll be around for quite some time with TNA. So, you know, with, with everything going on with Scott, I was saying in a lot of uh, one of my... Um, recent podcast as the time passes it just seems like the healing is already beginning with the fans you know the fans are not boycotting because scott demore is not there um the wrestlers appear to be in pretty good spirits and just a move like this excites the fans this gets the fans going and i've always said they're not going to get the punks and ospreys and, and and people of that nature but this is this is the type of guy that could really thrive in tna you can be a heavyweight and, and do well in TNA. You go to AEW, the smallest person wins every single match. You know, so it's just not a not a fit for him there, in my opinion. But this uh, this should be really interesting uh, to see who he feuds with at the beginning. You know, hopefully they don't throw him in the title picture immediately. I just I just never think anyone should be in the title picture right away when they get there because then there's nowhere to go but down. So. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Thoughts on Hammerstone joining the TNA roster.